Okay, hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get cracked apps on your iTouch or iPhone 3.1.2. Yes, it will need to be jailbroken, but all you have to do is go check out my video on how to jailbreak your iPhone or iTouch on uh, 3.1.2. It's really easy to do, really simple. So, once it's jailbroken, you need to go into Rock or Cydia. I, uh, I use Rock because it's much faster. And you need to add a source. The source is cydia.hackulo.us. That is c-y-d-i-a dot h-a-c-k-u-l-o dot u-s. Um, I'll have that in the description if you still need it. Um, and once you do that, you need, uh, there are all the packages, but what you need is AppSync for OS 3.1. There will be app sync for OS 3.0. You need 3.1. You need to install that. It will just take a few seconds. Uh, don't install any of this installus or crackulus or anything. Um, those for, for for older firmwares and stuff. So, once you have that, you're really all set for your uh, touch, And you have all you need. So now you want to go onto your computer. Now you want to go to the website called appulo.us slash appdb forward slash no www dot I'll have a link in the description if you need it um but yeah I also have the source in the description now what you need to do is go into the app store and find a app that is cost money that you want and you don't have the money so I'm getting Need for Speed Undercover. When you, what you, what you do is um, type it in this little bar right here. Need for Speed Cover. Then you uh, usually do 60 items per page, just so we'll find it. And if you know it's a game, you can type in games it for the thing. And you want to sort by app name. So once you find it, you want to click on it. And it'll open up a little box like that. Now what you want to do is scroll down to get to these links. The one higher to the top are the later for, uh, versions because they update. So you want to get you want to get toward the very top. I usually just pick the first one. Um, what you want to do is you just click on the link, and it'll ask you to do this. So C D B J. Download. And you just want to save it to your desktop. Some apps take like a really long time. And some apps take not any time at all. This app for some reason has taken a pretty long time. So I'll come back to you guys when it's done downloading. Okay, hey guys. Um, it finished downloading. And it went onto my desktop. It is a zip file, so we will need to fix that. So, what you want to do, let me just zoom in for you guys. I don't know if you can see that. What you need is just to extract it to your desktop. Okay, and just wait for it to finish extracting. Okay, so now it's done. I just reposition the camera real quick, so you can get a better view of the folder. Okay, so you have a folder called Payload, and you have something called iTunes Artwork. What you want to do is take the iTunes Artwork, right click, say Cut, Go into the payload folder, open up uh, the folder inside, it should say, be whatever dot app, and uh, right click, paste it in. 
that is um, the the graphics. So when you add it into iTunes, it will um, it'll have an icon. So now you want to go back one and cut the folder that says the app name dot app, not the payload folder, but the dot app folder. Now you want to go to my music, go to the iTunes folder that iTunes automatically created and go to the folder called mobile applications then all you need to do is right click paste it in and once it in just take it and drag it right into iTunes and it'll do a few things at the top it'll say privacy and wait a few seconds Okay, so now it'll automatically open up into the applications page, and you should see it. Mine is down over there. I'm going to reposition that again. And as you can see, as you can see, it has the icon. That's what the iTunes artwork is. Now it says NFSU. I don't really like that, so I'm just going to right click on it, say get info, say info. And you usually are able to do it, but sometimes not. Kind of sucks. But whatever. So, you can just check out um, the name and everything. So, now it's in. All you have to do, as long as you have that thing downloaded, is just go to your iPod. Go to application. Make sure it's connected. Uh, like... Make sure your iTouch is connected and make sure that um, you have your i you have your i um, app select selected and then you just click sync and it will add right in uh, and sync onto your iTouch. So yeah, so that's how to uh, get cracked apps on your iTouch or iPhone on 3.1.2. Hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, just PM me. Um, or leave a comment below. So, yeah, so until my next video, just remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.